Hey there, Matt here again. I want to show you through the actual T30. And so it's the next level up from the T25. So you've got T25, T30, T35, and T40, okay? So why would you want to buy, it's probably a good way to start, right? Why would you want to buy a T30 over a T25, right? Well, same engine, slightly wider, okay? Slightly just that much wider, so hardly anything, okay? Biggest advantage is the weight of it, okay? So it's got a lot more weight behind it. All the weights are on the specs page, etc. And it's, if you're coming a little bit closer, coming a little bit closer, you can see it's got this second circuit as well. Um, the T25, um, if you're talking about the T25 and comparing this, if you're using a trencher on the T25, while it's doable, but if you're light, you like don't have much weight behind you yourself, and you're on the back of you got the trencher and going rough ground, sometimes it a little bit can be a little bit bouncy. Where this is already designed with a lot of weight behind it, it's you know it's close to the weight of the T35, but it's the narrowness of the T25. So that's your big advantage. Um, as far as um, engine etc. goes, you want to come in a little bit closer. I give you a little bit of rundown with the actual controls. You got 25 horse, uh, like the, your Japanese Honda engine here, okay? Um, you know, which you, you know, want things for it, you can get them anywhere. The controls, this is controlling your bucket, um, four in one, your two different auxiliary circuits right here. Um, and then you've also got, sorry, this goes, this um, raises and lowers and kill, like cools and doesn't kill. And then you got your left and right as far as your drive. As far as your um, oils, et cetera, goes, doubled up as counterweights, I guess. Um, so this is your petrol, okay? So actual petrol, not diesel, it's a petrol engine. Um, and then on this side, you've got your uh, hydraulics, okay? So pretty good little machine. And if you're going, oh, what's the downside, okay? Probably only downside, it's not even that big of a downside, you're gonna bend down to, uh, to, um, to, actually, um, to actually turn it on. The, the, the ramp's not spring-loaded, but you can lift it up if you want to. It's got a little bit of cushioning, cushioning there. Um, as far as the front of the machine goes, if you swing around maybe from this side, I'll show you, it's got the narrow bucket to go with it. So when you're going through a narrow space, it's got a narrow bucket. This is about as narrow as you can go, maybe slightly more, slightly narrow with a, um, a good quality four in one. Easy greasing points, easy access under here, which I'll show you all that in a tick, right? Um, as far as the machine goes, I'll just fire it up for one tick. So that's on, that's just basically idling there. If you come a little bit closer, I'll show you here. You've got obviously your throttle there. I'll bring it up and so on and so forth. But you don't need a lot of you don't need a lot of power. I'm just gonna pull it up so I can show you in underneath the bonnet, okay? You can see your lifting height as well. We'll turn her off. Um, if you swing back around the front here, I should be able to show you this as well. Um, with these particular machines and the way the bonnet's set up. Make sure you're using your safety bar every single time. So your safety bar comes in under here. You've got to flip it, flip it around compared to how it sits and you put your little couple of pins in. It's just, you know, as I'll say in other videos, the chances of the hydraulics fails is very, very low, but you don't want to have your head under there and find out the hard way because you, you, that'll be the end of you, right? So as far as getting in under here, just like the T40, your little bonnet hatch, your little bonnet loop thing, right? Um, battery access is super easy, okay? Battery access, you've got your um, hydraulic cooler there as well. Um, you've also got your pump. So you've got your main pump here and then you've also got your dry pumps down there. Um, battery, filter, super easy to access. You know, very, very good machine, very, very solid machine. Um, not something you're gonna have too much in the way of um, issues with. You can see everything, you know, if you get a hydraulic oil leak, you can quickly and easily fix it. If you're swinging around here, um, might just swing around the back for a tick, watch your head there. Um, oil, as far as oil goes, obviously you've got your Honda, Honda engine, fuel filter here, fuel filter here, um, fuel filter, <laughs> sorry the camera wasn't there, and then also your, um, your oil, easy to check your oil there. Honda engine, this throttle doesn't work um, because it's actually up on the dash, right? So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, very, very good machines. If, you, if you're using a trencher, this is, and, and like you're trying to balance it out, budget and what you're getting for your money, etc., and you don't want to spend the extra money to step up to the diesel, then this is your best option by far. Fold our little thing around, All right? Back down, take our safety bar off, straight off. 
just got to be careful when you're pulling it out you're not going to bloody put paint chips in your own machine put it back down here it just twists around the other way so it sits on the way it's designed always use that and then fire the machine up and then uh, drop it down so she's got a bit of speed about her right as far as So I'm in low at the moment. So I, your control high and low is here. I'm in low. Give it a bit of rip. Doesn't move. Doesn't move along too bad. Probably only a downside of the machine. Give it some more reps. Put it in high. When you're in high, it works the engine. So that's just pointing out. So the whole idea of this video is so you're fully educated and fully informed. You want to come a little bit closer, right? Um, the when you got in high, if you're on if you're on uh, lighter ground, you can feel the engine working. Okay, that's just one of those things. You can run around low all day. And it's got enough torque, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the dashboard. I don't think I went through that. Very similar to the other machines. Battery oil pressure, fuel, uh, and your hydraulic oil filter, et cetera, et cetera. Work lights, on and off. One of them's not even turned on at the moment. It hasn't done, had its final pre-delivery checks, this machine. Um, you got these little counterweights on the back. So what do you need to do if you want to get one, right? Um, pretty simple and pretty straightforward. You've basically got, um, you can either have this on an actual um, trailer, you can have it part of one of our combo packages, which is a sort of separate um, um, video, videos and photos, right? Uh, or alternatively, um, you can obviously just have it by, by itself. Finance-wise, very simple, very straightforward, having a, uh, having a conversation. You have to have either through your business or if you're working at the moment, you wouldn't look, want to start something on the side. That's a great machine to actually um, dry hire if you want to do something like that. Um, just a matter of having a conversation, run through any questions you have. We put it together, send it across to you on an invoice so you can talk to the broker. He needs to know what you're buying. He'll have a conversation with you. Um, you give him the paperwork he needs and basically um, um, keep it all rolling forward. So um, pricing wise, all the prices are below. The price, the price list is on there. There's a link to the price list. The price is below anyway. Um, all the different packages and so on and so forth. Um, really good machine. Probably one last little advantage I forgot to say over the T25, just a better sort of it's more sturdy to hold on there so everything has its pros and cons there's no such thing as anything perfect i've tried to point out to you that the slight minor um uh, imperfection things which are very very minor on this it's probably only the only the drive when it's in high you know no one's going to complain about that but at least i told you in, in advance um if you've got interest go ahead and make contact uh you can drop us an email office at diggerking.com.au you can fill in a form on our step three page uh, or um, you just give us a call on our 1300 number, which is blue. Looking forward to helping you. And uh, yeah, sorting you out with T30.